up everybody. I know it has been a hot minute because I've been creating and when I create, sometimes I have to take a couple steps back. Sorry about that. But um, yeah, I just needed to take some time off with content creation and spend some time curating content and bulking it and doing all that stuff so I can focus on growing my business in different ways. So today I'm going to talk to you guys about four things you need to add to your water to make it healthier, to make yourself more healthy and all that good stuff. Some of these things you may have heard of, some of them you may have not, but that is okay. That is why you're tuning in today and why I cheers you for doing so. I also want to ask you guys if you know someone that could use these tips, if you know someone that's struggling with their health and wellness, please share this video with them. It really means a lot to me when you spread the love, you spread the um, encouragement to your friends because what a lot of people don't realize is that saying hi to a friend and not asking anything of them and just saying, hey, how is your weight loss journey going? How's that going? Really opens up conversation and really opens up a new way for people to connect with you. So don't be afraid after this uh, live or you can even do it right now, just click share, share it with a friend, tag a friend. And again, I'm doing this live so you can ask questions, you can refer to it later, whatever you need. Okay, so let's jump in, let's dive in. I actually just made some of my very favorite tonic teas on the Fit and Fabulous Club plug. All right, pink sea salt. Ah, I love this stuff. So when I lived in Thailand, I was always dehydrated. The humidity always made me feel like no matter how much water I drink, I always felt like I needed a freaking Gatorade, right? But we all know that Gatorade has tons of uh, food colorings and sugar and high fructose corn syrup and it's not good for us. So I was like, well, what else am I supposed to drink? Like, I know coconut water is good, but there's a lot of sugar in that and I didn't really know what to do. Come to find out, I had to put some salt in my water, <laughs> right? How funny is that? So this is pink Himalayan sea salt. You have to make sure it's pink Himalayan sea salt. If you put table salt in your water, you will blow up like a balloon. But pink sea salt has so many amazing minerals and uh, properties that are going to make your body flush out the bloat, okay? And it's going to help you de-bloat, and you should be cooking all your food in this stuff. I know I've talked about this in Facebook Lives in the past. I'm sure if you scroll down, you can find those. Um, I'm actually probably going to see if I can link it in here somehow. But I just add, I literally just add like a shake. I don't add a lot. You don't really taste it, so don't worry too much about that. But this pink sea salt has so many minerals, it has over 80 actually, that are gonna help your body hydrate itself. A lot of times you feel thirsty or you feel like you're lacking no matter how much water you're drinking because you're missing minerals. You're missing some essential minerals that your body's not getting from the food you're eating. So by adding a little bit of pink sea salt, you're gonna get those minerals, you're gonna feel hydrated, and you'll be able to move on, deep low, feel really good, okay? So pink sea salt's the first one I'm talking about here. Just a little bit goes a long way, okay? Don't, don't get crazy. <laughs> Cook all your food with that too. Ginger. It's a little bright in here, isn't it? This is uh, one of my favorite things. I have a lot of stomach issues. My digestive system is not the best. Um, so I like to use ginger, especially after I eat a big meal or if I go out for dinner, you don't really know what oils they're cooking with or what they're adding to the food. It might be heavy with sauces and you don't even know. Um, so I use a little bit of ginger in my nightly ritual tea, which my girl Kat knows all about. Um, I just use a little bit of this, about a fourth a teaspoon, and I feel automatically better. If you've ever been to a sushi restaurant, you know they always have those little slivers of ginger. So good, right? I'm obsessed with these little slivers of ginger. Sorry, my dog's in here. He's shaking it for you. Um, right, they always give you those little slivers of ginger because they're so good for digestion. So just adding a little bit of this to your water or to your green tea or to your smoothie is going to go a long way in aiding in your digestive system so that you're able to digest all of those delicious foods you're eating during the day. So just a little bit goes a long way. If you guys have any questions, feel free. I see a few of you have tuned in. Hi, Shannon. Oh, yeah, they're literally sitting right next to me. I'll probably show them off. Come here. Gigi, come here. We just got her groomed. How cute, right? My dog is the best. Say hi. She doesn't even know what's going on. 
All right, so if you guys just tuned in, I know we got a few new ones. I talked about the benefits of pink sea salt. I also talked about the benefits of adding ginger. Sorry for that light, you guys. I try to light up my room and now I'm like this huge spotlight. Okay, next on my list, lemon essential oils. So I know you guys might have um, heard some of my Facebook lives where I talk about how important it is to add a little bit of lemon juice to your hot water in the morning to get rid of all of that flesh. Big tip, if you ever seen coconut oil, coconut oil in heat is all melty and liquidy, right? That's the best when you can cook and you don't have to like dig it out and wait for it to get liquidy. But when it's cold, what does it do? It's hard, right? It's so hard and it's annoying. You got to dig your spoon in there and pull it out. And you're like, oh, this is so annoying. But let me just say that that's what happens in the morning. When you wake up in the morning, all, everything is stuck, okay? Your dinner that you had the night before, it's all kind of stuck in there. So when you have that hot water, think of like coconut oil. You're literally melting it. You're melting it into liquid and helping it flush out. A lot of my clients who start drinking that hot water in the morning, they're like, uh, is it normal to go to the bathroom like right after I drink this? And it's total yes. Your body has all that buildup. It needs a little like you know, almost like a little Drano to clean that out. Now, if you add a little bit of lemon, whether it's half a lemon with juice, or if it's a few of these um, citrus lemon drops, these are from doTERRA. I'll leave a link to the girl I used to get these. I do not sell it. I don't sell products, but um, my friend Jennifer does, and she sells these, and they're awesome. I love them. And I just add two drops, and the reason I use lemon oil is because I believe, I might be saying this wrong, okay, so don't quote me, but I believe it's like 10 times more effective um, because it comes from the lemon peel at detoxing, okay? So when you have lemon or you have lemon oil like this, basically what it's doing is it's helping your liver produce bile, which in turn helps you digest better and it helps everything kind of flow out. It's like nature's Drano, okay, which we need. We sometimes need a little like, you know, help. It's not that we need to do a juice detox or we need to not eat. Um, you know, I don't have anything against that, but I'm just saying that, you know, you don't need to do that every single day. What you can do is have some warm water and lemon and help your body move all of that out, okay? I also add this during the day throughout to my water to help with that as well because, again, we're eating all day. So it's really nice to help your body kind of flow all of that out, grab what it needs, get rid of what it doesn't. Next on my list is dandelion, okay? Now, I don't use this all the time. I only use this when I want to tighten up a little bit. That's a little disclaimer. I'm not using this every single day. So this is dandelion. Um, basically, what I do is I use two syringes full. So that's about, that's the syringe. It's not that big. It's a bottle. As you can see, it's, it's not that big. Um, of this, I use it for about a week before a photo shoot or I'll use it, you know, a week before, you know, maybe I'm going vacation or something. But basically what it does is, hi Greg, basically what it does is that it helps your body um, align itself and it helps it push out all of the water and the excess. So it's really good at helping your liver out with that. So both the lemon and the dandelion are very, very good at helping your liver kind of push things along a little bit easier. Now. You don't want to use this all the time because it's not good to use all the time. What happens if you use it all the time is you're going to have to use the toilet an awful lot and that's not good, okay? You just want to use it maybe before you want to tighten up a little bit before you're going, you know, to a tropical place or you're doing a photo shoot and you just kind of want a little a little boost, a little, you know, a little little bit tighter. Um, drinking lots of water and having this will definitely help with that. So if you just tuned in, I did talk about pink Himalayan sea salt, the benefits of hydration in that. Ginger, love it, tastes so good too. Lemon essential oil and dandelion. And if you guys have any questions, feel free to comment below. I'm going to leave some links. Um, a lot of you guys have asked me you know, why I stopped doing these lives. It's because I've just been working in the Fit and Fabulous Club like just working on that. And um, it's been really awesome because I've been able to focus my energy and my attention on the club and give more to it, which is what I always wanted to do. It's hard to balance it all, you guys. 
Um, but now that I've kind of slowed down with that because I just, I'm about to launch the latest and greatest program, which I want to invite you to join. It's called Booty Camp. I'm so excited to launch. It launched February 15th, right after Valentine's Day. So basically you can go out and enjoy yourself. And then the next day you're in booty camp <laughs> and I hope you guys will join me in that. I'm going to leave a link to that up above. And I'm also going to leave a link to my new video series that I created for you guys. It's about what type of diet is best for your body type. So if you've been having, you watch these videos and you've been trying some of these tips, but you're having a little bit of struggle, you know, what the best diet for you is, um, let me help you with that. I created a video for that and I'd love to share it with you. All you have to do is sign up above. And, um, yeah, so basically I'll, t I'll get into a little bit about that. But I didn't eat carbs for several years. Hi, Heather. I didn't eat carbs for several years. Come to find out my body loves carbs. And I eat, um, I don't eat like junk carbs. I eat like rice um, and rice cakes, like brown rice cakes. I eat uh, quinoa and, you know, I just eat more carbs. And it's been so awesome. And I'm leaner. I feel better in the gym. So, you know, understanding what your body loves and what it doesn't work well with is very essential for living a life of total health and wellness. So um, definitely sign up for that series if you're interested in learning more about that. All right, you guys, thank you so much for tuning in. Remember, share this with a friend who might need this information, some inspiration. Give them a high five. Give them some encouragement. And I will see you guys. Um